Greetings and welcome to my video presentation on Lebanon Gestural, the Plan B. This video shall discuss the pharmacodynamic and pharmacokinetic properties of Lebanon Gestural. It will also discuss the interdisciplinary team that works in coordination with the patients prescribed with the drug, as well as some key counselling considerations. Lebanon Gestural belongs to a drug class called progestogens, a group of drugs used in female contraception. Basically, drugs that fall under progestogens elicit an effect by thickening the cervical mucus to prevent the passage of sperm and change the endometrium to reduce the potential for implantation. Some indications for levonorgestrel include emergency contraception, contraception as a component of combined oral contraceptives, and as well as prolonged contraception as an intrauterine device. With this in mind, let us have a closer look at the pharmacology of levonorgestrel. Orally administered levonorgestrel is absorbed in the gastrointestinal tract, while levonorgestrel administered for an IUD is absorbed in the endometrium. A pharmacokinetic study of 1.5 mg of levonorgestrel in women with normal BMI show a Cmax of 16.2 nanograms per mil and a Tmax of 2 hours. Another pharmacokinetic study determined a mean steady state volume of distribution of 1.5 mg of levonorgestrel to be 162.2 litres in those with normal BMI. The protein binding of levonorgestrel ranges from 97.5 to 99% and it is mainly bound to sex hormone binding globulin. Levonorgestrel is also bound to albumin but to a lesser extent. Levonorgestrel is metabolized by known pathways of steroid metabolism and it is hydroxylated by liver enzymes, mainly by CYP3A4 enzymes. And finally, 45% of levonorgestrel and its metabolites are excreted in the urine, and about 32% are excreted in feces. The elimination half-life of a 0.75 mg dose of 1.5 mg of levonorgestrel ranges between 20 to 60 hours post-administration. Moving on to the drug's pharmacodynamics, Oral contraceptives containing levonorgestrel suppress gonadotropins, thereby inhibiting ovulation. Specifically, levonorgestrel binds to progesterone and androgen receptors, and it slows down the release of gonadotropin-releasing hormone from the hypothalamus. This process results in the suppression of the normal physiological luteinizing hormone surge that precedes ovulation. As a result, it inhibits the rupture of follicles and viable egg release from the ovaries. Moreover, levonorgestrel emergency tablets are 89% effective when used according to prescribing information within 72 hours of unprotected intercourse. The majority of medicine containing levonorgestrel fall under Schedule 4 of the Standard for the Uniform Scheduling of Medicines and Poisons. As such, a prescription from an authorised prescriber is required to gain access to the medication. However, some medication also fall under Schedule 3 of the SUSMP, specifically Levinyl-1 tablets. While a prescription is not needed for this medication, safe use of this substance requires professional advice from a pharmacist. Levinyl gesture is a first-line emergency contraceptive for unwanted pregnancy and among the health professionals which can prescribe it include medical practitioners, nurse practitioners, and midwives. However, this drug may promote risky sexual behaviours, so it is vital for healthcare teams to combine patient education with adequate treatment plans to promote effective usage of the drug. Case in point, gynaecologists ask the patients about pertinent sexual history and monitor the sexual behaviour, whereas pharmacists should emphasise the side effects of levonorgestrel as well as its strict timeline to achieve optimal drug efficacy. There are several key counselling points which need to be communicated to the patient to optimise the benefits of levonorgestrel usage. Firstly, it is important to take the tablet as soon as possible after unprotected intercourse. The sooner the tablet is taken, the more effective treatment is likely to be. Secondly, common side effects of taking levonorgestrel include tiredness, nausea and vomiting. Doctor or pharmacist should be informed of the occurrence of these side effects to see if medical treatment is needed. Lastly, patients should see their doctors three weeks after taking levonorgestrel to verify if conception has occurred. Other long-term contraception methods can be discussed if emergency contraception fails. Test your knowledge. 